with Roger was just heaven. I mean, I, I was felt very lucky, you know, very, very lucky. Mm -hmm. Handsome, charming, caring, and especially for a beginner like me, you know, and I think he liked me a lot because I spoke Italian and at the time he was married to a wonderful woman called Luisa, who was Italian, who spoke English, but preferred to keep it to Italian. So it was like a common denominator. And I met Luisa and we became great friends actually. And you know, it's his luncheons at the house with his wife. Luisa spoke, spoke English like this, like a true Italian. Now, Roger, Roger, where is the plate for the pasta? And every time, I mean, that's how she, a real, real wife, you know? And Roger would look at me and raise his eyes and go, I can't bear her, but she makes the best pasta in the world. <laughs> that I really got the part on marriage and pleased to be able to spend time with Roger. But I have to say that um, on the first day of filming, I'm on the set sitting in my chair and Tony Curtis comes up to me and introduces himself. I hadn't met Tony Curtis. And, you know, he chats me up and he was very charming and everything. And at that moment, Roger appears. And when he appears and walks over to me, Tony turned around and left. So I thought, you know, well, he's going to let Roger speak to me. And the words that came out of Roger's mouth to me was, Viv, you've got to know, on this set, it's either Tony or me. You've got to choose, but it can't be both. And I said, what do you mean? He says, well, you know, um, I'm your friend. He's not your friend. And there was a big duel and a big uh, brushing and a little bit of dislike going on between the two of them. You would have never noticed it on screen. He was. He was just a little problematic sometimes about the scenes. And, you know, Roger would look at me and kind of raise his eyebrows, saying to me, here we go again. <laughs> kind of thing, you know. Yeah. And um, he, Leslie was very respectful of, of Roger and sometimes would ask him whether he felt that this was something he'd be comfortable with. And Roger, Roger would work it out very quickly, you know, not make it difficult just to get on and get the day through. Whereas Tony <laughs> was another matter, you know. Yeah. Part in the Persuaders was not a complicated part, you know, I mean, it was quite easy to do and, uh, you know, it, it really ran very smoothly. And I'm very, very flattered that it's been chosen, my episode, out of all the episodes, you know, for this discussion. I miss show business, but I work, I work parallel to show business now. I mean, I have a very successful international company and I book every star under the sun. I do concerts and speakers all over the world. And um, I think it's important, discipline, perseverance, knowledge, and learn. Everybody should become a sponge, ultimately. Yeah.